moving up here to the text menu at the very top it says text properties if I uncheck that there we go we've lost our text properties Let's bring that back up again and there's the text properties panel on the right hand side over here Let's expand that down there we are so all of our text properties are available to us for working on our text in one of our standard dockers over here on the right hand side there's a whole lot of stuff in here there's two major sections the character section and the paragraph section there's also a frame section down here just a little section that works with the frame that your text is housed inside of we can divide that by columns you can do multiple column frames if you want to we can align to the base grid we can do vertical alignment in here just select which one you want to use for that we can do top alignment center bottom or full alignment notice how the as I roll over these options how the text changes its position inside of that box that it's in the in the text box there we go we also can choose a background color in here for the text you can kind of see a little little diagram there a little color in behind that text let's say I went for a nice kind of pale greenish thing there we go so you can come in here and you can actually give the box you're working inside of a coloration as well okay so that's the frame let's now move on to the larger sections we'll start off with our character now we're looking at Cooper black that's the typeface in here where it says house plant and again drop down menu just like we have up here in our properties area Cooper black doesn't have any additional font styles and if I chose a different font style let's just choose Arial. Arial has a bunch of font styles normal italic and bold italic so we have different font styles so you may or may not have font styles it will depend upon the typeface that you have selected in there whether or not it has those you can change the size right down here it can be a lot more specific down here and I'm going to just scroll over just a little bit let's make this box a little larger I'm going to select house plant again there we go now up on our drop down up here we didn't have a whole lot of options you know I had the standard sizes down here be a lot more specific I can change this one point at a time so I can adjust the text to fit exactly the size that I need it to fit we can also adjust our spacing our, our letter spacing here you know, the range kerning so you can adjust the kerning that's your spacing between your letters we can adjust the fill type for the letter that's a uniform fill there's a fountain fill that's how they actually put a fill into the letters themselves if I click out you can see that there it is so we have all of our standard fill options available to us and all kinds of pre-made fills to use in here from a little drop down two color pattern fills our full color pattern fills everything that we've looked at previously in our other discussions we can apply right inside of our text as well I'll put it back to the uniform let's just choose a dark green color here there we go maybe a little darker if I can find something a little bit darker it's still green hard to say if that's green or not no it's kind of a a non greenish something I guess that's pretty good notice that we can fill the area in the letters themselves as well the actual line so we have a background fill now on the box that contains our text and we have a fill on the line of text itself kind of a fun little option there. So you can actually you know you can do highlighting in other words let's just do a demonstration of that I'm going to move this out of the way and I have this as a couple of pieces in here I have a shadow in behind and text in front just get that out of the way stretch our box open a little bit let's say I wanted to highlight 
this sentence down or part of the sentence down here. Let's just grab our text tool. I'll just highlight American Homes. Let's just do a uniform fill and let's get a nice bright yellow. There we go. There's a highlighting inside of your text. And that's what you can do right down here. You can actually do a fill on a line. We also can adjust the outline on this. So this is, we're looking at just the fill here. Uniform fill, but there's no outline yet. I can bring an outline in here onto our text. Let's just go to large there. So there's a black outline around that text. So lots and lots of options, as you can see in here, for being very, very creative. Um, let's see if I can find a nice bright green in here. I had a brighter green here someplace. Yeah, that's not too bad. It's close. So that's just our, our basic letter adjustments. There's even more you can do, of course, as we move down here. We can adjust the type here. All caps, titling caps, small caps, small caps. Now this is all caps already, so it won't be seeing anything here on this. We can do superscript, subscript, and so forth in here. We can do different annotation styles on this. We have number styles that we can use for working with numbers. So lots and lots of options in here. And even more specifics. If you want to get real specific in here on any of these, here's our, our number styles, for instance. You can get very, very specific on these things. So that's a look then at all the character options. Let's come then look at our paragraph options quickly. Right now we're using the no horizontal alignment. Here's a left align, there's center align, there's right align. Let's click down into the line down here. I'm going to center align that one and this and that center line. There we go. We can go fully justified if we want to or we're not. So our different justification options. We can do a first line indent and left side indent, right side indent down here, control those indents. If we're working with paragraphs, we'll be doing some paragraph stuff a little later on here. And all kinds of things. We can do, do the our character heights here as a percentage of character height points or point size and then adjust our spacing in here, line spacing. We can come in and adjust the after paragraph spacing, pacing below paragraphs or between your paragraphs, the spacing before paragraphs, so between your paragraphs, above your paragraph, all kinds of options in here. Your character spacing can be adjusted in here. We can come over here and do language spacing and we have word spacing as well. So you can be very detailed in how you are controlling your spacing. This works out especially well if you're doing a complex layout with a lot of text. You can very carefully control exactly how everything is lined out using all the different tools here in the text properties. And there are a few more as well down here. You can work with our tabs, bullets, drop caps, and hyphenation. So there we go. That's a little longer than a quick look through the text properties. We'll be doing a lot of this, of course, as we move further forward in the rest of our text section. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.